Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We're gonna be walking around with a hobbled Ada to the cable car and go into the laboratory, I assume. Damn leg. Let me carry you. No. That only make me feel worse. Cause she's got the ID bracelet and that's what we need to get into the cable car. I hope nothing happens on this bridge. Come on. How's the shoulder? Worse than it looks. What a pair. Both got one foot in the grave. Well, yeah. Leon's probably killed about 50 zombies. And I've used a lot of herbs. I'm severely medicated right now. Which, by the way, you could use an herb or two, girl. Every time I start limping, I just take an herb and I'm good. Here, look, why don't we just give her our red, green, blue herb? Or a first aid spray? We can just give those to her. Fix her right up. No need to use bandages. That's some archaic shit right there. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna look around the cable car a little bit. This Maybe there's items. So be prepared, Leon. Oh, I'm prepared. You wanna see how prepared? Boom! I'm ready to go. A lot of people have asked me why I haven't used my magnum ammo yet. It's so I can cruise through the last part of the this game. Is bound for nest. Obviously. Until the final destination. I can't wait to headshot zombies with this. Won't have to use the handgun ever thinking. again. I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon, trust me? Nope. Trust me? Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Whoa. Right. I, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Ada, you say it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm gonna finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just gonna leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? I wanted her to say, Leon, look at me. I'm hot. But fine. she didn't say that. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for, trust me. This is very different from the original. <laughs> Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Well, what are you gonna use? Are you just gonna... Are you just gonna lounge yeah. in the cable car? Counting on you. I know. Leon's so earnest. You can trust him with your life. He'll save the day. First day on the job. Raccoon City. Uh... Oh, come on. Come on. What am I getting rid of? Maybe a shotgun shell? Wait. Achievement unlocked. A great need for a shower. Hang on. I don't have the... Hang on, what? But I need the... Oh! It's over here, okay. I was about to say, surely. Surely this didn't pass all QA testing. For you to have it, like, mess up there. Oh, you didn't have room for the wristband? Well, you should have luck. Oh, I should have put the shotgun shell in here. I just didn't even think about it. Okay, I've organized my inventory. I put six handgun ammo in the box and I reloaded the fuel into the flamethrower. So we should be good here. I want to keep my other weapons aside from the Magnum, even though I do plan on using the Magnum primarily in this upcoming segment. Is this room red? It is blue. There is nothing here. Okay. Here we go, guys. Into the laboratory. Access granted. 
Stand clear until the doors are fully open. Can we get Order killed by the door? Stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Well, they're not fully open. We're going to get trapped. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Oh, I thought they were going to close behind me for sure. All right. Let's read some of this stuff. Okay. I wonder where the G-Virus is. <laughs> where the G-Virus at? Nap room log. Toby Jackson, Sarah Takahashi, Walt Page, Anthony White, Cyril Archer. Cyril Archer? There's nobody in the world named Cyril. That's a reference to the show Archer. Desmond Locke, Wayne Lee. <gasps> Wayne Lee never left. Some say he's still there to this day in the nap room. He was really, really tired. ID wristbands. This research facility uses the latest security technology in order to ensure employee safety and efficient business practices. In order to enter and exit the facility and to operate certain equipment, employees must use an ID wristband. There are three levels of access, visitor, general staff, and senior staff. Authentication is granted based on an electronic chip inside the wristband. The wristband access level can be changed by simply inserting a different electronic chip. Visitor wristbands can be given to family members of employees. Please inquire at reception for further details. Okay. So that's how the wristbands work, in case you were wondering. Let's go ahead and save here. I use a different save slot every time I start a new video, just in case I find out later. Uh-oh, the audio got corrupted. None of it recorded, I can go back and record the same gameplay. Of course I would tell you guys if I did that. Just like I have been transparent the entire playthrough. Ah, uh, let's see. Research lab, north area map. Great. Oh, the north area is not very... <laughs> Not very, uh, expanse. Not very large. I couldn't think of a good word. I said not very expanse. And, uh, that's... It's just not a thing. There's blood on this bed! Uh, okay. I guess we're good here in the security room. Let's go forward. To the main shaft. Staff only beyond this point. Yes. Hmm. Must refrain from entering. I wanted to go into the main shaft, though. Alright. Let's go, man. Red dot sight. Like a boss. Let's do this. Is there a Mr. Raccoon back here? Hang on. I hear it. I hear it. You guys might not be able to. But I can hear it. It might be in this next room. Let's check it out. Hi. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! He's dead. I heard another one. I heard him. All right. Did I get her? Wow, I got her. In an embarrassing position, too. Are you gonna come back up? Please enjoy our tasty selection of healthy foods. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. Come on. Man! That is satisfying. I've cleared out this whole room now. Cold drinks. Let's look around a little bit. I did hear a Mr. Raccoon, so I don't know if he's over here or what. Handgun ammo? Whatever, I'll take it. What do you got? Grenade, I would like to have that. Let's get rid of the knife. And take that. With that said. No, he's not getting up. Good. Alright. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's go up 
the stairs over here. I can't wait to go up these stairs. Classic moment from last video, you missed it. Wow, it's large enough for a human to walk through. That's interesting. Okay. Where am I now? Oh! Hey, there's gunpowder large here. And then there's fuel in that cafeteria I missed. I'll have to go back for it later. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have kept all these. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Wow. Bye-bye. General Staff 2. Can't go through there. That's fine. We can go into the nap room, though. And we know there's someone in here. Hmm. What do you got? Electronic chip. Can I combine this with the wristband? Yeah. General Staff. Okay. Thank you so much! See how generous he was? Okay, hang on, we gotta use up some of these. Shells. Regulator for the flamethrower. Combine? What does it do, though? Hang on, I wanna see. Makes fuel last longer. Okay, so you don't use up ammo as quickly. That's good to know. And as always, there's something that just doesn't... Uh... I guess we need something for this that we don't have. We will return. Let's go in here. Right? Okay, now there was some fuel here. Here it is. It's just like by the coffee. Oh, I can't just combine it. You know what? Let's ditch the uh, handgun ammo. Because I don't think we're going to need it. We've got so much. Reloading the flamethrower. We're good. And let's see. Now that we've got this, we can actually go into the new area. We'll have to come back to that area later, so I'll go and get that gunpowder when we're coming back through. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. East Area, that's nice and vague. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and store the shotgun, actually. Because I just feel like it. I think it's the right move to free up inventory space. Cool. We've got plenty of ammo, but that'll be our emergency weapon if we need something. Do we... Oh, I just recognized this room! Wow, look at this place! This is a classic map. Special Forces recording. Alpha to Ghost. Target moving to the west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-Virus and antiviral agent. This is Ghost. Understood. Rendezvous at point W3. Roger. This is Alpha. Arrived at destination. Understood. Stand by for target. This is Alpha. I've got eyes on the target. He's going to open the safe. Roger. Awaiting the signal. Got eyes on the G-Virus. We're going in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. Ah. G virus is in the west area. Got it. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping I could fall to my death right there. That would have been funny. So. Oh, we need additional clearance to open this up. What can we go to? East area two. Senior staff clearance required for bridge access. Okay, so it's very clear where we need to go next, right here. We made it to the main shaft, I didn't even celebrate it. Guys, main shaft. Now, I chose to keep the flamethrower over the shotgun because I have played the original game, 
And I think we're gonna need it for something here. Hmm. Hey guys, nothing there. Just weird smoke. There's an herb right here. Wondering if we take it. Let's take it. I don't need any more healing items, but. Wow, another item box? Already? Gunpowder, sure. I'll just put it in the item box. Presentation room. Oh my. This poor soul. Oh, he's got the thing. We need that thing. Jesus. What happened here? Uh What the hell? You on fire? Did I get ya? I think it's dead. I think Plant Man is dead. Son of a bitch. We got him. Is there another one? Okay. High grade gunpowder, that's what I'm talking about. There's another one. Your weakness is fire! There we go. Wait till he cries out. And that's when he's going down. Shit! He's fine. Leon, calm down. You're alright. Greenhouse control room. Oh nice. Another flash bomb. Flash grenade. Huh? Input code? I don't think we have a code yet. Might be wrong. Maybe we get it from here. Dispensing solution now. Should I have done that? I can't remember. Dispersal cartridge? Let's take a look at this. A cartridge for dispersing various solutions into the greenhouse. It's empty. See, I like that when you examine it, you get the added information that's empty. It's not necessary, but it, it's, it's pretty cool. It gives you incentive to do it. All right, we're in the greenhouse. Let's go get this red herb right here. Gonna combine it with this uh, blue one. So, here's one thing I've been wondering. Am I going to get poisoned here? <laughs> I haven't been poisoned the entire game. And they overload you with these blue herbs. So there's two of them here. Maybe I should cool it with the flamethrower fuel, because I don't think we can make more of it. We'll just have to find some more. Look, look, he's all shriveled. I got this one good. Wait, is this one still... What? Yeah, he didn't die completely. Oh, that's what they look like when they're dead. There we go, okay. I understand now. That's the code right there. So it's like F2 squiggle F. F2 squiggle F. Very descriptive. Alright. What's this? Blue herb. They must poison you. Okay, I don't think that that actually opens up that way. You! Another one. I'm gonna save my ammo for now. Because I don't know... Is there anything more? Okay, there is another door over this way. So I'm gonna go that way. Hang on. Does this open? Drug testing lab. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh, that's another code. Squiggle I something something. Oh boy. I'm gonna try. Seems okay. I'm gonna take this grenade. Still red here. Gunpowder large. I think I'll use that with the high grade. It only gave us five. Last time it gave us six. Let's read this. Herbicide synthesis. Plant 43, herbicide synthesis. Place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of UMB number 21. P minus E. Thing symbol. Cool immediately. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If something unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the event of an unforeseen accident, incident, manufacture the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize damage. Place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of UMB number 21. So that's P minus E. I'll remember that. P minus E. There's still something in here we haven't gotten. I wonder if it's just this. Alright, here we are. So, I think this will open... This will open the ladder, actually. Okay, so... F, two, squiggle, F. Enter! Okay. So the ladder's now open. Now, I did notice that it was like squiggle one, right? Oh wait, was it? It was skinny one, wasn't it? But I don't know what the rest of the code is. And I don't think I'm just supposed to guess. Yeah. So maybe we'll find more info about that later. Get back up! Are you dead dead? I'm gonna watch you this time, okay. He's dead for sure. So you gotta get him twice. Maybe I should have saved my flamethrower fuel, but... I think we're okay. Oh, what's this? Senior staff clearance required for computer access. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I am trying to get to this guy. He's got something I need. Now, I did notice that there was a door I didn't go through over here, so I'm gonna go through it now if I can. Well, that was <laughs> exciting. Okay, I got one after me right now, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Just gonna go straight for the ladder and see what's down here. I mean, stairs. <sighs> I called it a ladder. Cringe, all right. And, oh, several things here. Ah, oh, research lab east area map. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We got low temp testing lab and server room, as well as the lounge. And more large gunpowder. Okay. Thanks for that. I'm going to keep going. Right here. Go here first. Server room. Okay, no power. So we gotta get the power on. Oh, sorry. Magnum. It's Magnum time. Look at these fools. Shotgun shells? What's your obsession with giving me shotgun shells? I wanna try something. I just wanna try this, okay? There, okay, there was just one of them. Now let's use the Matilda. You good, bro? You gonna come back to life? Nah, he's dead. All right. 
Murph is what it says. What am I supposed to use here? I don't have it, whatever it is. You. Now. Trophy. A trophy in the shape of a DNA helix. Oh my gosh, something is written on the bottom. This is for um, the locker in that lab that we found. I mean, this is all the lab, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'll remember that. I need to know, like, do we place it somewhere? Oh, another one. Dude, we're not gonna... I'm just gonna leave that. Okay. Quickly. Nope. So there's a couple of them, right? Okay. Didn't go as well as I would like. But we got out of there. They just took me by surprise. If I had known they were coming, obviously, I think it would have gone a little bit differently. Let's see. I should have had my magnum out. Honest. Honestly. Because that's what I got it for. <laughs> Mr. Raccoon? No. There's not one there. Oh my, dude, you better not. All right, you want tango? I don't even care, dude. I'll use a magnum shot on you. That's fine. I heard another one. Where are you, buddy? Oh, that would have been a badass shot right there. Hi. That one was pretty cool anyway. High grade gunpowder. Oh, brother. Um. Handgun ammo. It's another one of these. Signal modulator. Oh, so we take this downstairs. I got it. Oh. That's kind of fun. Nice. Okay. I see how it works. So downstairs it said Murph, so we would use um, the Murph setting to open that up. Open this? Where's this go? Oh, I'm back! I'm back! Yeah! All right, I know what to do with this. Don't do that. Don't bob your head like that. Gonna make me think you're alive. All right, before we move on, let's put the modulator here, set it to Murph, and uh, do our thing. Okay, I guess we gotta set it before we forget it. Let's do this. Okay, let's see. Murph, right? Got it. So satisfying. All right. Use it. And now this floor is powered up, I think. Okay, where do we need to go? We can go to the server room. We can go to the low temp uh, testing lab. Let's go to the server room first, then low temp testing lab, and then let's get out of here. Hoping we can find some good bonuses. Items. <laughs> Oh, is that some high-grade gunpowder I see? Thanks, we can craft some more magnum ammo now. I'm all about that magnum ammo. Fuel for the flamethrower! Let's get it. All right, an iron box. So this is just a loot room. And a combat knife. And is it clear? It's blue. All right, let's do, uh, let's do this. Low temp testing lab. Why is it all dark in here? I thought the power was on. 
I hear something. Oh, come on. Did a couple rapid fire shots there. Oh. Wow, you're still going for it? Look at you. Now. Welcome back, Dr. Liu has Shut up. new messages. I remember asking you a goddamn thing. Good? Nope. Dead? Dead. All right. What? Wayne Lee's inbox. Sender, Rick Mendoza. Subject, what's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss. For now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Byron Cartwright. Busy guy, huh? So, you could make it our little meeting? Fine. Don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next. And get it done tonight. <laughs> That'd be great. Rick Mendoza. Are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bastard Cartwright hiding? Rick Mendoza. Please reply. Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse in hell. It is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Rick Mendoza. Subject, none. <laughs> do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? <laughs> what a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. So I have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed. But you might have to wait a while. Because I'll be dead because you didn't reply to my emails. Aw, poor nerd. She wasn't into nerds. Hang on. Hang on, there's nothing here. <laughs> Turns out there's nothing here. Is it cold? Who left the freezer open? Um, I don't know, you're good though, Leon, calm down. It's not a big deal. Oh, all right. Better safe than sorry. Anything in here? Gunpowder. That's not all that's in here. Ah, uh, standing by. Okay. Oh, is this where we make the, uh... Is this where we make the herbicide? Hang on. It's the cooling system. Oh, yeah, okay, we have to take the herbicide here for plant 43 from that note after we made it, because the last step is to cool it. And they're not just telling us to calm down. All right, uh, so, great. So we have, we have a couple codes we can use. Gotta go upstairs. Oh wait, no, I gotta get the signal modulator back. What was that sound? I heard something weird. But yeah, we gotta get this back. I almost forgot. Uh... Can I not take it back? Weird. Okay, I guess I can't take it back. But what was with this music? Playing in the stairs. Listen, does it show up again? There was weird music playing. Listen to that. It's getting louder. Ow. Where'd you come from? 
Hey, buddy. Okay, so we just gotta input this. Seems easy enough. So we got squiggly, not that squiggly. Didn't mean to do that. Squiggly, skinny eye, square thing, fat eye. Okay, so that opens the thing in the drug testing lab, which we're gonna go get now, right? I don't think we need to kill that last zombie. I don't think he's got a clue where we're going or where we are. Just not a threat. Okay, it's open now. So, do we put the dispersal cartridge in here? Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Okay. That's too much. Oh, oh no. Hey, I did it. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So I got it. Dispersal cartridge solution. It's full of solution. And we're done with this one, good. Hi. Okay, so we're going to cool this solution down here in the freezer. And then we'll be able to use it in the greenhouse and get that guy's key card thing, I think. I think it's three that he has. So yeah, we're done with everything else for now. This is the last thing that we need to do, I think. And then we're gonna go back to the nap room, probably. Okay, cool it. <laughs> okay, it says, let's watch it cool it. Cooling sequence in progress. For some reason, I remember this sequence from the original game. Like the little arm moving around. I don't know why I remember that part in particular. Well, it's been cooled, now it's blue. Looks like it's freaking frozen. Okay, let's take it back up and use it to kill all the plants. I can't take it out. Are you able to take it out? Cause like, Is I cleared it? this, but I want to use it over here. Yeah, in the nap room. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's really weird. Cause it's you're supposed to. I did the Murph one last, but you're supposed to take it out, and it's not in your inventory magically or anything. No. Oh, it is. I thought Maybe it was... it automatically takes it back out or something. Oh my god. Because it looks like it's in there, to be fair. I thought it, that was in. It does. Okay, so I just have it. You're good, okay. Alright, it was driving me crazy. <laughs> I was sitting there for like 20 minutes, like what? Am I just locked out? Okay, so this is really embarrassing. I thought the signal modulator was in the wall socket right here, but it's in my inventory. I had asked my friend Sino for help. I was like, what is going on? Is this a bug? I can't... I can't get it out. Because I wanted to go back to the nap room, so I'm gonna go do that. Get the extra stuff. So hang on, guys. Somebody's note. Glad I saw this. Everybody's turned vegified. <laughs> they keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body's black as ash. <gasps> There's no other way. Wow. I completely missed that last time. Let's take the handgun ammo. Are we blue? We're blue. We got clearance. All right, guys, let's go back to the nap room and use this thing. Okay, and also, I definitely hear Mr. Raccoon here. I guess it's in the cafeteria. I just must have missed it earlier. So let's go back in. It's over on this side. There it is. I completely missed that earlier. And this room is still not blue. There's still something in here? Where? All right, gunpowder large, pick that up. And I believe that there's a combat knife here too that I missed. There it is. 
Are we blue? We're blue, and the cafeteria is blue too. It's kind of dumb that the cafeteria can't be blued until the kitchen is blued. Made me think that there was something in there I missed. But whatever. All right, let's do this. So we gotta do muff with this signal modulator. Here we go. This one's actually really close. Cool. Let's uh, let's do it. Bam. Powered up, and then we take it out. See? Oh boy. Oh. The final hit pouch! I got an achievement! Wa a waste of space, and waste is spelled W-A-I-S-T. Oh, you're definitely getting up. Ah! <laughs> that, was with the, that was with the handgun too, not even the magnum. Wayne Lee's notes. Dear God, blood everywhere! What the hell's happening? They're dead. All dead. It was those men in black, USS Headquarters Special Forces, but why? Isn't their job to protect us? White brains in a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everyone say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I'll screw them. I'll win the Nobel. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will... <laughs> And he turned into a zombie. All right, that was worth it just for the hip pouch, I gotta say. All right, now that everything is blue, I think, we can go back to the greenhouse. All right, let's use the cool dispersal cartridge and dispense it in the greenhouse to destroy Plant 43. Oh, look at it, it hates it. Now. Please. <gasps> we need that. We need that wristband that upgrade. Trick. Sure did. Upgrade your ID wristband gladly. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Okay. Your actions have been locked and you may be subject to disciplinary uh... measures. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, we got him. We're gonna have to burn him again, though. Is there another one? There's another one. Let's see if we can get them both. Let's get them both right here. Okay. Is there another one? Or is this it? Okay. I think we got both of them. Look at all these dead vine zombie bodies. Love it. Let's get it. Oh, there's another guy over here. Electronic chip, we'll combine that. Upgraded ID wristband to three. Uh, Him again? Hang on, are we good? We're blue. Go! Let's go, Leon. I know we could probably take him here. But we don't need to. We could run. It's not boss battle time yet. I hear another Ivy zombie. Dude, you're so slow. How are you going to catch me when you're so slow? It's not going to happen. Keep going. Uh, here? Yeah, he's lost us. If only he could jog, but his ego won't let him. All right, let's go to the next area, west area. I'm excited. Let me in. Hope Mr. X, hope Mr. X still isn't trudging past. Okay, yeah. No, I think we, we lost him for good. Because I was about to say, I don't want to be running from him the entire time I'm in the west area. Maybe that'll happen anyway, but... Mmm... You guys are usually dead. And not affected by the, uh... Virus, it seems. Lab digital video cassette! This is Operation Nest Wrecker 1! <coughs> ha 
Bless me. All right, what we got in here? Item box, another signal modulator. This one is OSS. Okay, so. This should be pretty easy. There we go. Put it in. Power restored. That's what I'm talking about. Any notes or anything? Uh, anything in here? There's nothing. Am I wrong? Ow. Is that it? Nah, it's, it's blue now. Hang on. <laughs> We're gonna item box some of these things. Discard the trophy. Cool. I think we're good here. Oh, let's watch the video, then we can discard that. Movie night with Leon, once again. Got eyes on the G-Virus. Going in. FBI! Dr. Birkin. You come along with us quietly. <laughs> we got him. No, you were coming. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. <laughs> Hold your fire! Well, we saw so part two. We saw what happens in part two. Not a happy time. So, William Birkin. That face looks kind of familiar. Jane Doyle, suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has de decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Sender, B-E, subject none. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Sender, Richard Kessler. Congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, will you? And don't worry, you've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. <laughs> Jane Doyle says, knows of admonishment. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee's summons within 24 hours. Aha! So they didn't like that he didn't report to them. Hmm. Bioreactors room. Cool. I'm just happy I have all the hip pouches, to be honest. High grade gunpowder, we'll take that. Oh, can we discard the tape? Let's discard the tape. Just in case we have to get five more items for some reason. Uh. Oh, I guess I've been decontaminated. This looks boss fighty. Don't fall, Leon. You'll die. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe on the way back? I see. Hmm. So it looks like they had a hand around here. Really using their noggins. Uh, I tried. I tried to make three puns. It was hard. Research diary. Embryo growth observations. Subject 449. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15, lucid, GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then, uh, disposed of. Breeding rate observations. Subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form. It was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. Implemented? Did I just say implemented? All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during the experimentation and took their own life. Really need to know that. Thanks for the parentheses. T virus resistant experimentation. We administered the G virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The, T the virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. Huh. Huh. A combination, perhaps. What am I doing? Huh. That was easy. That's the G-Rider sample, huh? There was exactly one. Now back to Ada. There was exactly one left over for us. Uh-oh. Oh, hang on. Magnum ammo. Are you... Serious? Let's go ahead and save. Wait, wait. So that's Birkin and his wife Annette in the background? Hang on, I'm, I'm inventory managing right now. Okay, we're done with the signal modulator. We don't need it anymore. Let's discard that. Uh, I'm gonna get, let's see, another mixed herb because I've got Tons of them. I got a lot of knives too. I think we're good though. Okay. I, I'll just need two. <sighs> Nothing happened there, really? Oh. What was that thing? What's I want that. Sorry, William. Left me no choice. Way to go, Annette. Girl power. William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. Leon. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. Your umbrella, too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. You can trust him. He's earnest. <coughs> you don't get away that easily. So you made this monster. We made the G virus, but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. Uh oh. You're still responsible. Maybe don't stand so close to the unconscious monster. Oh! Oh, 
lost the core now. I'm sorry, I want to go back that way. We can't let him get away. What about me? <laughs> Whoa, that would break your shins. Okay, good. I didn't want to climb on that tiny platform anyway. Uh, wait, what? 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 Oh, cool. Uh, let's go somewhere a little further away. Hmm. Okay. There's a couple other eyes, but... Damn, dude. Did I use my other one already? I have been a little bold in shooting him. Reload. Oh, he's picking it up. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, dude. You got me. Okay. I got two of them. That one's gonna be the hardest one to get. Did I get him? Oh. I went back in. Okay. Okay, run. How are you supposed to dodge that? Like a super move right there. Got him. Oh, okay. He mad. Um, no, don't go that way. I can't hit your, uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna hide behind this. Okay. Damn it. That works. I didn't play too well, but we got through it anyway. Ah. <laughs> I should have brought more healing items. I just figured that two blue, green, reds would be enough. Oh, there's stuff on the side. Hang on. I want to get this stuff. Yeah, combine. Let's see, where are they? Oh, there's there's all sorts of stuff. There's fuel over here. Let's go get that. Let's see, reload. So yeah, defeated Birkin. And now, there's a self-destruct sequence happening. Let's take this. Oh, mag ammo. Take that. I, I didn't get any of this. This would have been useful. Yeah, there's tough everywhere. Oh my gosh. I'll remember this for when I play on hardcore, that there's items around. I assume that they keep them though. Wow. They give you like 50 handgun shots. Like you're supposed to beat that with just the handgun? Well. I don't know about that. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Okay. 
Yes, I'm unauthorized. I understand. Cool it. Take some advice from the herbicide instructions and cool it. Wow. Dude, there's a hundred handgun ammo is in here? Wow. Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. And we're gonna get the heck out of here. We just beat William Birkin. I mean, I think he's not getting up again. I hope not. Jesus. That looks bad. Just give her an herb, dude. You're keeping them all for yourself. Worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. G-Virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G-Virus gets into the wrong hands... Yeah? What happens? Speak up. She didn't even finish her sentence. I can't believe it. Attention. What happens? What happens if it gets in the wrong hands? All right. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, everything's blue, right? Just making sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So, let's go back. And get out of here. Go on the cable car. Get back to Ada. Sounds good. There she is. Oh, she's hacking it. I was about to say, I never got an administrator key card. Key card. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please. Tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. <sighs> oh, Leon. <sighs> Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. I'm shocked. Well, there it goes. Oh well. No one gets that sample now. Now she's dead. Get her, Leon. Forget it. Shut up, I've got you. It's not worth it. Don't do this. Take care of yourself, Leon. Oh, he didn't say it.
Leon's had a rough day. First day on the job. National disaster. Falls in love. Girl he likes dies. <laughs> gotten injured several times. Oh! Escape the lab. Well, what's inside here, though? Oh, wait. Are we going? Oh, okay. Bye-bye. We'll see you later. Countdown begins. We've only got ten minutes, guys. Wow. That looks like it's about to explode. A lot of electricity and fire going on right there. So we're going down, is that right? I feel like that might be a mistake. When we just get caved in? Oh no guys, all this stuff, it's not working. Place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. Well, you just wasted several minutes of my time. Are we blue? It's red here. That means that there's items. Oh. What is this? Oh, combat knife? Well, what other stuff is there? Hang on. I spy a first aid spray. We might need that. Now we're blue. Alright, now we can go. I'll save the magnum. Let's use the handgun. Okay. Hope there's no Mr. Raccoons here. Wow. Alright. Now I think it might be time to swap in the shotgun. Alright, we've got two mixed herbs, a first aid spray, a lot of defense items, and some large gunpowder, so you know what? Let's get another large gunpowder. And we'll see how many of this makes. Combine. 57. Wow. All right. So we're good to go. I am going to save. And let's get moving. We blue? We're blue. Let's get the shotgun out. What was that? Oh no. Oh no! Knife him. We don't have time for these guys. This is the one time where I'm not interested in killing them. Oh, why? He chased me. Stuff it, dude. Keep going. I'll take that green herb. Um, this way? Climb down the stairs. It's gonna take a while. Alright. More handgun ammo. My god, guys. Really? He's kneeling. Reload. Keep going. Nope. Seven minutes, that's not so bad. Oh no. 
Mr. X. I thought he was gonna crush my head. Game of Thrones style. Ow. Explosions minorly hurt me. They don't even hurt him. They startle me. Uh, gotta keep going. You got herbs, Leon, all right? Chill out. Oh no, I missed some items back there. That's fine. I'm sure they weren't important. At this point, we're just trying to get through this on time. Joint plug. Oh, what? Tell you what. Oh my God, dude. Hang on. I'm putting this in there. <laughs> now, let's reuse these. <coughs> Sorry. Joint plug. A large plug required to activate a certain piece of equipment in the nest. Is there any extra hints? No. I'll just remember that. Okay. I guess we'll just put it in here. Use. Okay, so it wasn't an actual puzzle or anything. It was just using the item. You're getting so lucky right now, Leon. Uh-oh. gonna be fun. Come on. So in case you haven't figured it out yet, Mr. X is a tyrant, which is one of the toughest enemies in Resident Evil. Ow. He hurt me just now. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna unload on this guy. Ow. That's fine, actually, because now I can use my mixed herb and get a little boost to defense. Ex excuse me. Run. Leon, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. Maybe I should try dodging those. I don't know if I have to just do enough damage to him, or if I just have to outlast him, or... or what. Well, that was close. He almost got out of the way. Should we try to roast him? I mean, he's already on fire. Okay, hang on. What's that? <gasps> no way. Thanks, Ada. So hang on. Let's use that real quick. Where did this thing come? Quick, pause time while you're picking up the anti-tank rocket. Ow. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, I got him. It only took one. I had four though. <laughs> well, I feel like a badass. He's half the man he used to be. <laughs> oh, brother. Come on, guys. Let's see. Do I have... Yeah, I got, I got my grenades out. 
Okay. Shit. I, I guess we'll keep going. This is action packed. We made it! We escaped! It was only level three. I can't believe I actually miss her. You might need it! He, he like gets to the door and it's like, access required. Authorization. Your level is too low. You're gonna regret it. <gasps> Leon? Hey. Who's this old twerp? We made it. Just like I said we would. Yeah, when you were fence leaning slash flirting outside the police station. That was great. We're not done yet. Don't worry, don't get the wrong idea. Some people's fingers were already on their keyboard. Do you haven't finished the game yet, actually? Yeah, I know, I know. But we're done with uh, Leon A. So if you've never played Resident Evil 2 before, the game is kind of split up into quarters. So Leon A is what I decided to play first. If I had chosen to play Claire's story, I would have played Claire A. Next, we can play uh, Claire B. And if you play Claire A, you can play Leon B. So, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it's kind of weird. They haven't done that for any other game that I know of. Have they? I can't remember if they have. But, uh, so we're gonna be playing Claire B next. And we'll see how that is. But yeah, so I just wanna I mean, since I've finished, like, a main campaign, if you will, I think it's fair enough for me to begin my thoughts on everything that just transpired. So I think this is a great remake. I really have been enjoying it so far. Like, the gameplay's really smooth, the graphics look great, everything is faithful enough to the original. Mr. X, very well done. I like the boss fights, I like how Birkin is presented. Everything just looks great, sounds great, plays great, and that's all you can ask for, you know? So, I'm I'm happy with it, and this is a game that, uh, you know, it was 20 years old. It came out in 1998. The fact that they remade this is awesome, and they're not gonna stop here. You know, they remade uh, the first Resident Evil in 2002, and that was only what, like seven years after it came out? Six years? Uh, so they're gonna remake Resident Evil 3. Let's just get that right off the bat. It's gonna happen. I know Capcom said, uh, we'll make, we'll remake uh, Resident Evil 3 if uh, people ask us to, if enough people ask us to. Now, they're gonna make it anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already started making it. In fact, I've heard rumors that they already are. And it makes sense because for Resident Evil 3, they have like half the game already made with this one. They've got the police station all done. They can just reuse that. I mean, they need to make like Jill. They need to make Nemesis, which Mr. X is very similar to Nemesis. And they need to do like a couple other places like, you know, but, they, but they've got a lot of the work done, more than they would have for other new games that they might start developing, like uh, Resident Evil 8, for example. We're gonna see Resident Evil 3, so I just wanna say that. Um, but with that said, uh, I can't wait to dive into more of this game and really soak it in and savor it. I do plan on 100%ing this game, just like I did with Resident Evil 7. If you don't know, I did 100% Resident Evil 7. I got all of the difficult achievements and everything. I have some extra achievement hunting stream videos on my second channel if you're interested in that because I know a lot of you guys never saw them 
because they weren't on the main channel. But uh, I do plan on doing the same with this one, so I'll probably have some Resident Evil 2 streams soon. I do plan on finishing the campaigns first, uploaded to this channel, and then I'll probably do Resident Evil 2 streams where I hunt achievements, you know, I play it on hardcore mode, I unlock tofu or whatever, play fourth survivor maybe. I don't know, I might upload a fourth survivor video actually. We'll just have to see how things go. But yeah, nothing bad to say about this remake. I have seen some, what I would say are unfair complaints. I've seen a lot of people ever since this game was announced complaining that it was behind the back first person and that they wanted the fixed camera angles from the original that came out 20 years ago and that they were so disappointed that it was going to be behind the back third person that they weren't going to buy it. And I think that's just ludicrous. That is a ludicrous opinion to have. How is your love of a game based so heavily on the camera angle that it uses? That just, that's beyond me. It makes me think that the gameplay and the atmosphere, how the game looks and sounds and plays, it isn't as important as nostalgia for some people. They want it to be a fixed camera angle for the nostalgia factor because that's just how games were 20 years ago. Yeah, it's not how they are anymore. This game is great. This game is better than the original. I'll go on record on, on saying that so soon already. It is. The original has not aged well. I love the Resident Evil 2 original but it has not aged well. And this is a fresh take, but it stays true enough to the original. Like I said, I think it's a great remake. And the majority of the people that have played it agree with me. Not that I'm using that as a logical argument, like they agree with me, so I must be right. We are talking about opinions after all. But I just think it's a bad opinion <laughs> to, to ignore this game because it doesn't use the camera angle that you prefer it's a great game. You're missing out on a great game. And you're missing out on the future of Resident Evil, honestly. A lot of people didn't play Resident Evil 7 because it was in first person. And honestly, Resident Evil 7 might be the best Resident Evil game I've ever played. I, I really love the remake of the first game. And I really love 4. But I think that the people that are at the helm of Resident Evil now... They're just doing so much with it. They're bringing so much innovation to the brand. And they're giving the majority of the fans what they want. Uh, not what they were doing with Resident Evil 6 years ago. They've, you know, they're back on track, they get it. I don't know what happened to cause them to make the past two Resident Evil games be so awesome. But I noticed a change when Resident Evil Revelations 2 came out. Because I played the first Revelations and I was like, it's okay, it's a 3DS port, whatever. Resi Resident Evil Revelations 2 came out and I remember thinking, this is, this is actually really impressive. I really like this. And I have a full let's play of that. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. Revelations 2. What was that? I got an achievement. A hero emerges. Oh no. Yeah, I figured I was going to get B rank. I took too much time. It was like 740. It's mostly, the rank is mostly based on time. I think in order to get S rank, you gotta, I mean, you gotta shave several hours off of that. I did have 40 saves. It's based off of, like, time and state saves and stuff. I think I did better than B, but whatever. I think I died five times? Two of those were instant deaths from the crane. Two of those were just me experimenting, being stupid with Ada, being cocky. Again, they were, well, they were against Mr. X, right? And then I only had one, what I would say, natural death with Leon against the liquor, my first time experiencing it. So really, I died once, I would say. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of how I played for the first uh, blind run. And I played how I wanted, and I had tons of ammo left over. Tons! I had hundreds of handgun shots! Man! People were going on and on about saving ammo. On standard, I don't think you need to. I think you can kind of play how you want. All you gotta do is explore and you know, unlock safes and lockers and pay attention and get extra ammo and you're good. If you don't do that, I can see how you might have a tough time. Also, you have to not shoot at Mr. X, so that might be like a first time playing thing where you, Mr. X shows up, you dump a bunch of ammo into him before you're like, oh wait, he doesn't die. You can waste a lot of ammo that way. But I didn't have any ammo trouble. 
Didn't really have any difficulty trouble, but again, it's standard, so... We'll see how hardcore is whenever I play that. Anyway, um, yeah, Revelations 2 was really good. That's why I noticed the shift, and then 7 came out. I wasn't sure about it. They knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. Then this, I mean, Resident Evil's, like, officially back. I thought it was officially back with 7, but this, like, it, it's... It's not in the same style as 7. It proves that they can do multiple styles of games um, with Resident Evil. And I think they just really killed it. So I'm really happy with this, honestly. It's awesome. Alright. That's all I have to say about what I've experienced so far in Leon A. So let's see what our options are. Because I'm not exactly... I can't remember how this works. Oh, cool. I got a bunch of concept art and stuff. New game, a second run has been unlocked. Select it under story from the main menu. The ending and certain parts of the game are different in the second run scenario. So these are, this is what I was talking about with B, right? New game, second run, right? So I can only do Claire's, so I can do Claire B, right? Um, oh wow. Oh, interesting. It keeps track of all your records. It tells you what the standards are. So I was actually 20 minutes off from not getting B. And I was about two and a half hours off from getting an A. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we'll start up uh, Claire B in the next video. Not done with Resident Evil 2. I might take a little break from it though. Post some other videos because I know not everyone's interested in watching Resident Evil 2. So I'm going to get some videos up for the people that weren't so much interested in this playthrough, and then we'll be back before you know it with Claire B, continuing the series. Let me know what you thought about Resident Evil 2 so far, now that we're done with the A campaign, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.